since the glorious iPhone was first introduced in 2007. Best keynote, by the way. It has become an extremely popular and appealing smartphone option for many people. And boy, have we patented it. <laughs> this is largely due to things like Apple's It Just Works ecosystem and their device lineup that caters to a wide range of needs and budgets. With regards to privacy and security, iOS 14 brought many fantastic privacy-oriented features, and the security model of iOS beats that of stock Android. However, despite all of this, there is one major issue with iOS that stands out above all the rest. The entire ecosystem is closed source. Ah, ah, oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Perhaps the most glaring example of this is the Apple App Store and its various limitations. In contrast, while Android does primarily push the Google Play Store on its users, it also offers official support for other app stores. You can download F-Droid, which is filled exclusively with free and open source applications. It's one of the many shining gems offered by the Android experience. While there are some projects like Alt Store attempting to offer this on iOS, they are still in the very early stages of development and nowhere close to being officially supported by Apple. This ultimately means that right now, the journey to find decent, free, and open source applications on iOS can be a painful one. Now, many of you privacy advocates are probably thinking, Android clearly has a superior FOSS setup, so why bother with iOS at all? They can go and themselves. Well, to be frank, some improvement is better than nothing. A lot of people prefer iOS to Android and have no plans of switching over, but still want to switch from proprietary paid apps to FOSS wherever possible. Go watch our gatekeeping video. Despite how limited this availability currently is on Apple products, there are some FOSS diamonds in the rough. This video is going to cover seven of these apps that you can download today on iOS. So let's get started. Signal is a messaging platform that offers end-to-end -end encrypted video, voice, image, and text messaging. It's basically a FOSS cross-platform combination of iMessage and FaceTime. Aside from sending texts and photos, you can also do other things you'd expect from a modern messenger, such as sending voice recordings, stickers, and GIFs. Signal has apps for every major platform and supports cross-device syncing if you also want to download it to your desktop or tablet. Unlike its popular competitor WhatsApp, Signal is open source and developed by a nonprofit. They collect almost no metadata, and the end-to-end -end encryption means you can rest easy knowing your data belongs to you and isn't being intercepted for advertising or other purposes. Overall, this app is the gold standard for secure private communication today, and its iOS app provides a great user experience that gets better with every update. The largest limitation is that you still can't make it your default messaging app like you can on Android. Thank you, Apple. ProtonMail is an encrypted email service that began development after the Snowden leaks in 2013. It has since become one of the most popular private email services available today. You can send end-to-end -end encrypted emails to other ProtonMail users, and the rest of your emails are stored with zero access encryption. This means your data is encrypted at rest as it sits in the cloud, which prevents anyone besides you from accessing it. The user experience, both on the web and in the app, is pretty good. It even includes the ability to lock the app with a passcode or biometrics. ProtonMail has done a great job creating an email service that maintains usability and security without selling out its users. However, one notable gripe about the app is that as of the date this video is being produced, it still doesn't have dark mode. Come on, Proton. Despite this missing staple, ProtonMail's iOS app is still well-developed and the service itself is a fantastic, privacy-respecting FOSS alternative to mainstream options like Gmail and Yahoo. Why'd you put Yahoo in the script? <laughs> On the topic of email, the next app is the email alias service Simple Login. This app is a serious game changer. With the concern of data breaches and advertisers leaking or selling your email address, Simple Login will be the saving grace of your inbox. In short, you add your real email address to the app, which creates something called a mailbox. Inside the mailbox, you create email aliases, which you can use to sign up for accounts, newsletters, and other things. This allows a huge amount of freedom to compartmentalize your online presence without having to create a second or third or 10th or 100th email account if you don't want to. We have a dedicated simple login video that goes into greater detail, so check that out if you want to learn more about the awesome perks of the service and why I love it. Lockdown is an app firewall for iOS. Most applications contain hidden trackers that are secretly collecting and sending data in the background without your knowledge. Lockdown aims to mitigate this by prohibiting apps from connecting to certain domains and transmitting data. It includes pre-configured block lists for things like Google advertising, Snapchat trackers, ransomware, and more. 
In addition to these presets, you can also manually add sites to the block list. The number of connections that are blocked on a daily basis is pretty astonishing. The nice thing about Lockdown is that it can be a set it and forget it kind of app. If you don't want to manually block any domains, all you have to do is download the app, double check which blocking presets you want to utilize, then hit the power button and you're done. It's going to go a long way in improving your privacy if you even just use the default. Vegan or not, Tofu is a two-factor authentication app with a clean, minimalistic UI designed specifically for iOS. Authenticator apps utilize one-time, randomly generated codes to offer an additional layer of security to your online accounts. This means that if someone manages to get the username and password to your email, they won't be able to actually log in without this temporary code, which is only available locally inside the app on your phone. These apps offer better security than SMS verification, which can be vulnerable to something called SIM swapping. If you aren't using an authenticator app yet, we highly recommend you do so, and Tofu is a good FOSS option for iOS. If you want to learn more about two-factor authentication and why it's so important, check out our Becoming Anonymous guide where we cover this more thoroughly, as well as the 2FA lesson found in the free Go Incognito course. Bitwarden is an excellent password manager with cloud syncing and cross-device support. It's very similar in functionality to other password managers like 1Password and LastPass, but with the benefit of being free and open source. If there's only one app you download today, this should be it. Reusing the same passwords, similar passwords, or weak passwords is an extremely dangerous practice. Cybersecurity breaches are a dime a dozen these days, and if you use the same password for all your accounts, especially if it's short and easy to guess via social engineering, you run the risk of a hacker being able to access everything. The best way to protect yourself from this is to use strong, unique passwords on all of your accounts. The iOS app specifically has a nice, clean layout and works flawlessly. You really can't go wrong with it. If you prefer local storage over the cloud, we recommend the Strongbox client for KeePass. If you want to learn more about the differences between Bitwarden and KeePass, there's a neat video we made on that too for you to go check out. The final FOSS application is the DuckDuckGo browser app. With iOS 14, you can finally change your default browser, and DuckDuckGo is on the list of approved apps to switch to. Feature-wise, the app offers a fantastic private browsing experience with the ability to lock the application using a passcode or biometrics. You can set the app to automatically clear data at different intervals with the ability to clear all tabs and data with a touch of the fire button. The fun animation that's currently missing on the Android version is just a bonus. All in all, this is an excellent open source alternative to Safari that is fast, private, and frequently updated. And that is our list of the seven best FOSS apps available on iOS today that will significantly improve your privacy and security. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It does help us out and subscribe to see more privacy and security content. Let us know in the comments what your favorite FOSS apps are for iOS, like there are so many of them, or any other platform for that matter, which you might find a few more of. If you hated this list, blame our editor as she came up with this list. Thank you as always to our patrons and thank you for watching. We will see you next time.